And the big right hands unloading. Just when you thought he had nothing left. Impressive, but you got to be careful if you go to the well too often. Well, it's 2018, we're at the end of Season 2, and we've yet to go viral. I mean, our plays are doing alright, but I'm not entirely uncertain that the majority of those aren't just coming from my mom. So, against my better judgment, I'd say, we're putting aside our carefully crafted narrative that's based on reality for a format that's garnered success for far lesser individuals, such as Pewdie Guy or Paul Lohan. And that's what the teens are calling vlogging. I mean, I don't know, it sounds like a load of bullshit to me, but we're going to give it a shot, because really, what else do we have to lose? Let's get to work. Hey guys, Austin Ty here. Today, we're gonna react to some children reacting to eating weird burgers. Ooh -wee, ooh -wee. Be sure to smash that like button and subscribe. Weird burgers, all right. Gonna react to these children reacting to eating weird burgers. Hamburger. Oh. Calm down. Calm down. Hamburger. Play with your food, you little punk. Vegan burger. Don't do it. It's not a burger. That's not a burger. No. It's fucked up what they're doing to these children. That's not how you eat a burger, you dumb bitch. This is how we raise a future generation of snowflakes right there. Vegan burgers. That's a canned burger. That's absolutely it's disgusting. Oh, Eat it, you little shit. In my day, we would have had to bare knuckle box six other children in the streets to get a piece of that canned burger. I like it. I'm just kidding. I never ate anything that repulsive. Hey guys, awesome time here. Today we're gonna react people reacting to me reacting to these children reacting to eating weird burgers Ooh -wee! be sure to smash that like button some, smash that like button and subscribe this can't be the right video these comments are awfully mean this guy said my initial reaction is that's not how you correctly react to someone reacting to something I'm better on every level of existence I don't know about that this one says fuck you, you stupid motherfucker, you're not the mayor. Number of grammatical and spelling errors in this one, but it's still very mean. Hopefully this next one's a little nicer. It would take an American to go to Gaza, see poverty and hucksterism based on poverty and unemployment, and pass judgment. You have no bloody idea of the circumstances or causes of that poverty, which in turn causes the things you've seen and smelled. I've been to Gaza, and it's cleaner, safer, and less full of creeps than New York, St. Louis, Seattle, or a dozen of other American cities I have visited. Glass houses indeed. The Egyptian people, to their credit, continue to welcome Americans in spite of being the usual rude guests they are. Also, fuck awesome time. Doesn't really make sense, but 
get a haircut, you beat me. Every waking moment of my existence that is not spent punching Ty in his stupid face is more painfully difficult to endure than the last. Ty is a terrible person, possibly the worst. The level of sheer self-obsession and narcissism that goes into making a show like this about yourself is comically disproportionate to Ty's intelligence, looks, and talent. If this were a real TV show, it would have been mercy killed mid-season for a lack of public interest by any network executive with even the slightest shred of good sense. Wow. Since this is YouTube though, he's just gonna be free to keep posting this bullshit, albeit to almost no views, comments, or objective amount of success. I hope that he develops Parkinson's disease before they have a chance to make a third season. I'd watch that. Nice. Hey guys, Awesome Ty here! I hear everybody likes six stunts! Six stunts! Hey guys! Ow. Today, I'm gonna slam a couple cans of Monster Energy and go jump off a bridge! Be sure to smash that like button and subscribe! Thanks! I don't know about this, man. Are you sure YouTube will even let us monetize this? What if I get injured? It's pretty far. I don't know, this kind of seems like a terrible idea. Well, apparently YouTube viewers like crazy, crazy stunts. So, really against my better judgment, I'm gonna attempt to plummet off of this 150 foot high bridge down to this riverbed. Um, seems like a really bad idea. Really wish I had some scotch with me. I mean, I don't really have my affairs in order if I were to die whatsoever. Um, I guess this can also serve as some sort of like a last will and testament. Um, I want the majority of my possessions to go to my fiance. And I suppose you can have my candidate, Sash Mikey. That's really all I've got. My mom used to say, that other kid was jumping off a bridge, would you do it too? Well, if the other kid was a monetarily successful YouTube star, I suppose the answer's a resounding yes. If you could just go and subscribe and give this a thumbs up, I'd really appreciate it. Oh, my spine! Call 911! Call 911! Hey guys, Awesome Ty here! Today I'm going to show you a brand new dance craze. It's called the... The Harlem Shake? The Harlem Shake? What is it, 2011? The Harlem Shake! Be sure to smash that like button and subscribe! I don't know, man. The Harlem Shake? Really? In 2018? Seems like we probably missed a window of relevancy for that, no? I don't really want to do it. Hey guys, Awesome Tower here! Today I'm gonna jump on Stretch and scream me playing video games! Even though you can just play video games yourself and that would probably be a lot more fun for you! Be sure to smash that like button and subscribe! Some days I just can't wait to square off with Steve Martin. Excuse me, not that Steve Martin. Can't wait till next November, so I reenact it time and time again uh, in this video game. As you can see, I have a hyper-realistic version of not that Steve Martin. Down to his mannerisms the and the way he walks. Making his way to the ring from the past, weighing in. Now you can't smell through video games yet. That technology has not been Russian developed yet. But I imagine he smells a lot like onions. W like he's carrying an onion on his belt. And as you can see, I wasn't gonna let him make it all the way to the ring. Just go ahead and take him right out with the sledgehammer. Yeah, that didn't take long. Start it. Oh, he's really taking it. Take that. Man, that's for the taxpayers. 
And that's for the kittens. And this is for the homeless, you son of a bitch! As you can see, I've created a Paso Robles City Hall-like ring to just add to the authenticity of the whole fight. Byron, he's still down after that one. Yeah, and that did so some big time damage, Michael. Being that, you know, I'm climbing the rungs of success in the ladder of Paso Robles politics, if you will. Well, he Back thinks he's going to get Not for long. Ah, right on the ladder, Second time. bitch. He's not looking good here, but oh, I'll take that. Here. <laughs> Michael, that <laughs> Look at him, so he's bleeding and lifeless, and I'm still beating him mercilessly with this ladder. He's on Dream Street. Climbing. In real life, I have a fear of heights. It would never climb that high to assault him, but you know, in video games, you do things that maybe you wouldn't in real life. Now, I could easily go for the win right here, but I thought it would be better if I spit a green mist on my hand and then clawed his face, his bloody, bloody face into somewhat of like a pulp. And then we'll go ahead and go for the pin after that. Yep. Shoulders down, this could be it. That's your one. Should be it. Two. Three. One, two, three, just like in November. Awesome tie wins. Everybody cheers, the place goes crazy. Not that Steve Martin, bloody and lifeless. Hi, I'm 2018 Paso Robles California mayoral candidate Awesome Ty Biz Cosmic. When I'm not starring in my hit YouTube series, Awesome Ty is running for mayor, or running for mayor, I'm often seeking emergency medical care for an injury sustained in a comedic mishap. Whatever happens to you, MedPost urgent care can stitch you up, whether you jump off a bridge or you're shot with a gun, or maybe you've just got full-blown AIDS, they're gonna get you well. Just be sure to have insurance, because otherwise you're not gonna be able to afford it, I can guarantee that. You're probably just gonna die. I mean, really, if you don't have insurance, you're fucked. <laughs> Go get signed up for insurance. Hey guys, Awesome Ty here! Today we're gonna get a red hot glowing knife and cut through a DVD copy of Kazam starring Shaquille O'Neal. Be sure to smash that like button and subscribe! No reason, even though you've got your own pets that you can probably be spending time with. Be sure to smash that like button and subscribe! Difficult kitten. I got you for this exact purpose. Come on, bud. I'm so on a pizza bar. Hey guys! Awesome tie here! Today I'm gonna show you how to tie an extreme half wins or not. A half wins or not, a bloody half wins or not. Be sure to smash that like button and subscribe! Uh, I've done this a hundred times, pretty much an expert. That's actually why they call me Awesome Ty, believe it or not. So first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that the, the fat end is a little down past the, the skinny end. You want to bring the, the fat over, the fat end over like this. Like this. And then um, bring it 
under. So it's back over here. And then you're going to want to tuck it down through the hole, I believe. The tie hole, that's actually what they call it. See, now you got a little knot for me. And then you're going to want to wrap that back over. Back across. God damn it! What you're going to want to do is untie it at this point and then go to Walmart and purchase a zipper tie for about $9.99 and just go ahead and put it over your head like so. It's already tied. You just tighten it on up. There's a little zipper here on the back and you actually just zip that up. Just zip it right up. Just go right up. God damn it! Find the tie. Challenge and I'm gonna dance myself with ice cold water for no reason. Be sure to smash that like button and subscribe. Hi, I'm 2018 Pastor Robles, California mayoral candidate Awesome Ty Biscosny, and this is the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge. Several years past its expiration date. As you can see, I didn't have quite enough ice, so I threw in some Otter Pops for good measure. Let's get this fucking over with. Ah! Stupid, filthy checkerback! Oh! 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 You just said check her back? Hey guys, Awesome Ty here. Uh, I know I fucked up. I said the word check her back, which is a derogatory slang word for Slavic people, and even though I am technically of Slavic descent myself, with the last name Bizkosny, I realize that it's still deeply hurtful to some people, and I'm super sorry. And even though I want to get these views one way or another, I figured I would take the time to go out and publicly apologize for, for my bad language. Because it was really inappropriate of me. Um, I should have better sense than that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to all the Slavics. I'm sorry to all the fucking checkerbacks out there. I really do apologize. And I figure just saying it to the camera, that's not enough. So I got to go out into the real world and apologize to some of these people. Be sure to smash that like button and subscribe, please. Hi. I'm 2018 Pastor Robles, California mayor. Okay, I'm awesome time to stop Sorry. <laughs> Uh, so while I was participating in the L ALS Ice Bucket Challenge, I, I may have said something that was slightly offensive, uh, maybe a derogatory term for Slavic people, and I'm just going around and I'm publicly apologizing. I didn't mean to offend anybody, so I just wanted to publicly apologize to both of you. I'm, I'm sorry that I said check her back. It's a term nobody should use, regardless of whether they just had a bucket of ice water poured on them in the name of Lou Gehrig's disease. Uh, Lou Gehrig's disease, though, is very, very serious. Uh, it affects a ton of people, and you know I was doing it to support the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge, yeah. which is you know in sort of supporting Luke Aaron's disease. Yeah. So I'm, I'm sorry I said check your back. And I'm, I'm not sorry, but oh, it doesn't matter. I I'm just apologizing yeah. to every. I'm sorry for saying check your back. I really am. It's not something I shouldn't have said. You guys have a fantastic day, and remember, vote tie next November. After a long day of public apologies, there's just one more to make. Thank God. Against my better judgment, I'm gonna go in and apologize to not that Steve Martin for being kind of a dick. All right, um, before we hold on, before we go in there, just give me one second. I gotta, I gotta pee real quick. Yeah, whatever. Here, let's just post up over here. Hi. 2018 Pastor Robles, California mayoral candidate Austin Tybus Costin. Ha, 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 ha.